We're here at the start of Clinton Power Station's refueling outage. We bring in thousands of workers from across the United States. They come here and help plant workers complete thousands of maintenance activities to make sure that this unit continues to operate reliably for the future. It's just second to none. You can't have an impact of an extra thousand to two thousand depending on what the outage consists of. And the employees that migrate to your community, it, it is huge for the economic boost of those restaurants, the hotels, the gas station, you name it, they're buying something. Usually it means uh, you know, a good 40-50% increase in business and uh, it's great for the community, not only me, but every business I think sees an increase. We really appreciate that they take good care of us and they're really great people to, to see and to work with and have as customers. You can't have that many great jobs with union, non-union, everything else out there that doesn't have a huge impact to your schools, to your county, to your community, and to the state of Illinois. In regards to the Future Energy Jobs Act, it's, it's such a huge bill. It kept the plan open. To put it in numbers, just for me personally, it's a good 10 to 15 percent of our business, uh, just the people that work there. and. And then if you figure, if they would have left the people that support there and the other businesses that would have lost money, I think privately, not only people in business, but the community leaders were, were you know, really scared of what, would it, what the town would have looked like in five years. We've actually seen one out of town developer actually purchase property in town. And I personally know of two other business owners who have recently expanded their business. I don't think any of that would have happened had they either decided to close or there was still the uncertainty of whether they were or not. Exelon means business for this community, that's for sure.